Hi guys, welcome to Electrical Project channel. Today I'll show you a really cool device. I mean it's so cool that it can make eyes. It is a thermoelectric cooler, also known as Peltier device. If you connect this device to a 12 volt DC power source, one side of this device becomes very hot and another side becomes very cold. Since one side of this device becomes very hot, I'll need to use a heat sink. Without a heat sink, one side of this device becomes too hot to touch in a couple of seconds. So good cooling is important here. In order to make heat transfer even better, I'll use some thermal paste. So let's apply some thermal paste. Now let's press on it. And we are almost ready to make ice. For an even better heat sink cooling, I'll put it in the water. Now let's connect a 12V power supply. Now let's connect the second wire and cooling starts. Now it's cooling. Let's put some water drops here. Oh hell, my finger sticks, it's really cold. Let's disconnect it and look at ice that we made. Homemade ice without a fridge. Well, let's try it again. I wonder what would happen if you touch it with your tongue. Well, probably this video would become much more interesting. But we'll leave it for another time. Now I should disconnect it. Ok, now let's be more scientific, so let's use a temperature sensor. Test. Works fine. Let's apply some thermal paste to it. Now let's connect it and take some measurements. Wow, minus 14 degrees Celsius. Let's disconnect it. So, the lowest is minus 17 degrees Celsius. Wow. And at the start, we had 20 degrees. Well, let's do it again. The water is a little bit warm now. Well, it seems that it's not going below minus 17 degrees. Let's disconnect it. The water is warm, and it's ok considering that this device consumes 55 watts of energy. But the really interesting thing about this device, that it can work in reverse. We just need to make temperature difference. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate now. For the first demonstration, I'll connect a small 5V DC motor. To make temperature difference, I'll use a lighter. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's see how much voltage it makes. Well, it is just 0.6 volts. Let's measure short circuit current. Well, it is 0.14 amperes. Well, current is ok, but the voltage is really low. 0.6 volts seems to be enough for the motor to start rotating. But it is not enough, for example, for an LED. 
To make LEDs work with 0.6 volts, we need a voltage booster. Well, some time ago I built one. It's really simple, it uses just one transistor. So let's connect it and test it. Well, it works. And that is all for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time!